If you can walk, you can skate. If you can walk, you can skate. All right, Sean here, Shop Task YYC. Very excited to be back today. We're going to talk about how do we start skating, right? Once we've got our equipment, what's next? Well, first thing you want to learn is the basic stride. Now, a basic stride is going to be broken down into three components. Don't get too complicated with it. Three things. Balance, V, lift. Balance is what we do with our body. Head up, hands out, knees bent. V is the shape of our feet. We're going for about a 90 degree angle between my feet. And lift. Lift is the weight transfer, making sure that we're alternating feet to create our stride. Now, when you're first learning this, you got to ease your way into it unfamiliar territory. You're higher off the ground because you have wheels underneath your feet. Just the feeling of rolling and gliding is a new acceleration that your body is not yet used to. It can feel uncomfortable, scary at first. People do a lot of funny things when they just start moving. Oh my god, what are we doing? Ah, follow my butt. Well, ease your way into it and you're going to avoid those pitfalls that give people kind of a bad first experience on skates. First thing we're going to do is we're going to practice on a high friction surface. So here I am, sitting down on a gym mat. This gym mat could be grass, it could be a carpet, something like this, where my wheels just aren't going to roll away from me. Practicing first my balance position. Head up, hands out, knees bent, and you see me here falling back and grabbing my knees. If I'm losing my balance, that's what I want to do. Put my hands on my knees, that's going to correct my balance. Then feet in a V. Okay, standing up. This can be tricky too. What I'm going to do is put one foot up, good posture, hands on my knee, I'm going to push off my knee, get my feet up underneath me. Once I'm up, I'm just going to kind of step around, get comfortable with the height. Now I'm going to make sure I'm in the proper body positioning. So here I am, hands in front. I'm making sure my elbow is in front of my center line. If my elbows come back behind me, that's going to make me want to fall. Okay, head up, hands out, knees bent. There, knees are bent nicely. And now I'm checking the alignment of my spine. And to do that, I'm making sure that I have a nice neutral pelvis. So I don't want to have an anterior pelvic tilt where I'm sticking my butt out. That's going to make it difficult. And I certainly don't want to be thrusting my pelvis forward into that posterior position there. Once I feel comfortable with this positioning, next I want to make sure I feel comfortable falling. Okay, I'm okay marching around. This feels really good. What happens if I fall? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get nice and low. I'm gonna slide out on my pads. We call this a drop stop. So I'm getting down nice and low. Hands and knees hit the ground together. Elbows can touch down as well into my drop stop. I'm using my pads, very important. Here's another way we can stand up. Now, uh, I find this works really good for about 50% of people. They find that you have like fairly flexible hips, that helps with this positioning. But what I'm doing is putting my hands down in front of me, posting on my hands bringing my feet up next to my hands. And when I bring my feet up, I'm putting them directly into that V shape that I would be using for my basic stride. Getting my butt up above my head, putting my hands on my knees, and then pushing up into my proper position. All right, getting used to this feeling. Balance, V, lift. Drop, stop. Good, okay, now I'm ready for my first time stepping onto the concrete, asphalt, gym floor, whatever it is. Find my body positioning. Okay, balance. I've got it. Lifting my feet. My feet are in that V shape. Now I'm being sure not to look down at my feet. I'm looking where I'm skating. In this case, I'm going right across to that mat. Step, step, step. I made it. Yay! Okay. Now you can skate. Balance V lift. It's that simple, but take your time getting into it. Here's a second angle. Head up, hands out, knees bent. Small lifts, maintaining that 90 degrees between my feet. Marching my feet along, nice small steps, and into a glide. And here's that drop stop one more time. Awesome. Okay, now let's move on to our intermediate stride. Balance V-lift, you got it. Now, how do we make that into a more graceful, what we would call like an intermediate a push and a glide? Now, the two differences here are going to be the glide, the glide being gliding on one foot on the center edge of our skates, the center edge being the middle part of the wheel, and a deeper compression to create the push, kind of a longer push by bending my knees 
and flexing my ankles. Now, to practice this, here I am on the high friction surface, working on the compression here. You see me bending up and down. Okay, now I'm ready. Push and glide. Obviously, I'm not gliding much as I'm on that high friction surface, but you can see the fundamentals of the movement developing here. Okay, I've got an idea of what I'm doing. Now, that one foot glide, how do I train that? Well, balance V lift, but now I'm going to bring up my knees nice and high. Balance V lift, high knees, high knees, high knees, marching my way around, finding a place where I can balance and glide on that one foot. Now the compression. To train the compression, I'm doing an exercise here called lemon drops. Carving the shape of a lemon with my feet. And to generate the power, there's no weight transfer here. I'm bending down with my knees, flexing my ankles, letting my feet carve around, in this case, a cone. Now using that for my first intermediate stride, bending down, push, and glide. And my feet back together. Balance V, lift, 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 high knees now, working on that glide, and now compressing into that push. Excellent, okay, very good. Let's see that one more time. Up and down, that compression, the key part here. You notice my chest is actually tipping a little bit forward, but I'm making sure my head is still up and into my intermediate stride. Push and glide. Wonderful. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate the support. This video to me is super important because it's a great starting place if you've never gone skating before. Thank you for watching. Namaste. It's beautiful outside. Let's go skate.